Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the AstroView mount with the EQ3 motor drive. Uh, we sell it as a kit uh, together. Uh, the nice thing about this is once you've found an object in the night sky, you turn the motor on, and it will continue to track it uh, as the object moves through the night sky. So I just wanted to show you how the motor drive is set up. Once you've got the equatorial mount fully assembled, it's a really simple matter of just bolting the, the motor on the side. So let me show you how to do that. The first step to installing the RA motor is to uh, make sure you're on the right side of the mount and the uh, slow motion knob is on the correct side as well. Uh, so from your perspective, the slow motion knob should be on the right side of the mount and the left side here should have a, a, a shaft free of anything and then this is the little attachment point for the motor drive itself. So it's in the correct orientation. I'm ready to install the motor. First, unscrew the little motor clamping knob here and you're going to take it all the way off. On your motor shaft, you're going to want to use the other Allen screw that comes with it and make sure the little coupler set screw is just loose enough so it allows the shaft to pass through without catching. Don't unscrew it too far otherwise it's going to fall out and that's a very tiny set screw and you'll never lose it. Or you'll, you'll never see it again once it bounces off the ground. You'll want the RA shaft position so the flat is going to attach to the little set screw. Don't try to attach the set screw onto the side of the shaft that's round because it won't grab it and it won't bite well. So I'm just going to see exactly where the set screw is going to clamp down when the screw is attached over here and then adjust the shaft from the other side until the flat is lined up with it. Right about there. So you attach the motor on. Use that little set screw again here through the bracket into the mount itself. All right. Now you'll use the small Allen wrench on the little set screw on the motor uh, coupler. Again, make sure the shaft flat is lined up. There we go. And then screw down the, uh, the set screw. There's not a lot of room in there, so you might have to pull the Allen wrench out a couple times to get it snug down. All right, so there's two more things to attach. You've got the hand controller, and that's just a simple installation. It plugs straight into the motor itself. Right there, and you can just leave that sitting in the tray. And then the battery pack, pull it out, and you'll find the wire inside. Pull the wire out and insert it through the little hole in the top of the lid. Once you install your batteries inside here, you can close it back up, and the battery pack plugs directly into the 6 volt DC power jack right on the side there. Once you've plugged it in and you've got batteries inside, turn on the motor here. Make sure if you're in the northern hemisphere to have the switch set to N. And of course, if you're in the southern hemisphere, switch is south. Once it's on, you are tracking the night sky. All right, well, there you have it. It was a really quick and simple installation for the motor drive. Uh, so again, this is the AstroView mount with the EQ3 motor drive. And again, it's sold as a kit. You can always buy it separately later on if you already had the mount. But um, it's nice to get it as a kit and start fresh from right from the beginning. All right. Thank you very much. Clear skies. Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the AstroView mount with the EQ3 motor drive. Uh, we sell it as a kit uh, together. Uh, the nice thing about this is once you've found an object in the night sky, you turn the motor on, and it will continue to track it uh, as the